you are advised to watch the previous video in the playlist which is on string slicing and this is another video on string slicing using different examples but if we simply have a quick look at one of the ones we looked at in the previous video as shown here the first line of code will actually produce a string and this string we can see has everything in the English alphabet in uppercase now the second line what the second line is going to do is going to take a slice of this particular string and this 6 is going to point to the beginning of the slice this 15 is going to point to the 14 not the 15th position not the 15th index it's always one less than that and then you can see we have the one and what the one's going to do is to ensure that we take every character from index position 6 through to index position 14 and of course then when we see we have G H I all the way through to O when we now let the program run and these two lines are executed then the output we're going to get is this line is going to give us the full alphabet as you would expect and of course this line here is going to print out the sliced string and we can see that the sliced string is GHI all the way up to O which corresponds to the slice as shown here now this particular computer program is almost identical to the previous one except we have the step of two as you can see here now when this particular program runs the first line is going to give us the string and the second line is going to take a slice of this particular string and the six is going to mark the start of the slice and the 15 when one subtracted from it is going to mark the end of the slice of course we can see we have the two and what this means is don't take everything between the index position 6 and 14 take everything in steps of 2 so what the 2 will actually select is shown here the 2 will ensure that we take the G I K M and O consequently when the program runs what we will get here is G I K M O showing us that we have taken the slice as predicted by the schematic animation let's now consider this computer program here and we know that the first line will actually produce this particular string what I want to do now is to look in this region and you can see that we have the square brackets and we have the two colons but there are no numbers there now when you see this what it means is you know that this with no number here means you go to the start of the string and this with no number means you go to the end of the string and this means that the step is going to be one because no step is actually been shown so what this will do it'll take a slice which is all of the string so when we run this particular program we can see this line prints all of the string because that's the original alphabet string and this line prints all of the string because this is the slice it's taken all of the string as the slice so when you see these two colons with nothing there in terms of numbers then you know you're taking all of the string as the slice let's have a look at this program here which is a slight amendment to the previous program we've been looking at well first off we know we're going to get the string created by the first line but if we come and look in this area we can see now we only have one colon now the second colon has been removed because what usually follows the second colon is the step and if we don't include the step then by default the step will become one and if you look at the help that's associated with Python you will see that the step is an optional entry between these square brackets and if you decide not to include it then it defaults to the value of one but what will happen here is not having a number in this position means we go to the beginning of the string and not having a number in this position means we go to the end of the string now if you think about it it's quite useful not having to put a number here it means you want to go to the end of the string and what happens 
in this case we know the string is 26 long because we've been working on this alphabet string for a while now in the two videos to date but if you didn't know the length of the string let's say it happened to be a string that was of length 100 then not having a number here you will know you will go as far as the end of the string even though as a program you don't know how long the string is actually going to be but we'll come on to look at the advantages of that uh, a little bit later but what will actually happen here of course when we run the program we're going to get this output because this line is going to print the alphabet string and this line is going to print the slice which is all of the string in this case because of the way in which we've chosen the square brackets here to have no numbers which means we go to the beginning and the end of the string let's consider this computer program here now we can see the first line is the same as the first line in all of the programs we've considered so that's going to give us this alphabet string here if we concentrate on the second line we can see in the square brackets that we have two colons and in the position of the step we have the number four now this not having a number here means we go to the beginning of the string not having a number here means we go to the end of the string and this four means we start at the beginning we take the a and then we count four steps and then we will take the e and so on so what the four will ensure happens is that we take these letters out of the string so we take the a e i m q u and y and of course when we now run the program we can see that when we've printed the slice string we get this here which we can see is a e i m q u and y which is precisely what we predicted by looking at the schematic animation now the next video in the playlist will look at some other examples of string slicing check out the supporting website for these videos and also consider subscribing to the youtube channel and get an automatic update every time i upload a new video also consider subscribing to the google plus circle that relates to these videos